Hi, I'm David Kozlicki, an executive committee member at the One Health Microbiome Center, and I wanted to bring to your attention two new resources available to all faculty and affiliates of the center. Uh, the first one is a compute allocation. So essentially, if you have some big task that you need to run, say like assembling a metagenome that you can't do on your laptop, and maybe it's too big to fit on your lab server, well, there is this free resource made available from this microbiome center that allows you access to the supercomputing cluster here. Basically, very large computers that you can log into remotely and run very large computations on it. It's easy to get access. You can access through your own laptop. All you need to do is create an ICDS ROAR account and then email Dr. Nicole Ganan to be able to get access to this. Hi, my name is Samantha Seibel. I'm a third year MSIBS PhD student, and I'm really appreciative of the One Health Microbiome Center's ROAR allocation as it allows for simultaneous processes to run that I couldn't otherwise do with my PI's allocation. Hi, my name is Ethan. I'm a senior here at Penn State University and I'm studying microbiology and the One Health Microbiome Center's ROAR um, collab allocation is really beneficial to undergraduate students such as myself because it opens doors to high power computer processing that we wouldn't have otherwise. The second resource is a license to KEG. Now you may not have heard of KEG, it stands for Kyoto Encyclopedia of Genes and Genomes. It is this very big manually curated repository of microbial and also other organism data, including genomes and pathways and metabolites. And it's one of the uh, oldest bioinformatics repositories that <clears throat> is in existence. Usually it costs quite a bit to be able to have access to it, but the Microbiome Center has paid for a license, a site license, so anybody can use it. It's very easy to access, just go to keg.psu.edu.